Hello everyone. Welcome to MSC videos. So in this series of lecture we are discussing about graph theory and its application. In this session we will discuss two important properties of a tree or a graph. We can say that it is a distance and center in a tree. So a distance between any two vertices is defined as the shortest path between those two vertices. Shortest parts in the sense that it is a number of edges. So you consider an example, I want to calculate the shortest distance between this V1 and V2. So by using this path within two edges, I can able to reach V1 and V2. There are different paths are there by using the edge B, G and then I and then once again J, I can able to reach it, the visit this V1 to V2. Now the length of this path is actually 4. There are different set of paths are available. So if I want to calculate the distance between any two vertices which is indicating the shortest distance between those two vertices. So obviously the shortest distance is actually 2. So which is actually the shortest path between this V1 and V2. Then we are going to define the distance as a metric value. So metric is actually a property. First property is a non-negative value which means that the distance between any two vertices which will not be 0. If it is 0, then you can say that this f of x comma y equal to 0 if and only if x equal to y. So obviously, if I want to reach from v1 to v1, so no need to use any path because it is actually 0. If we want to reach v2 to v2, which is actually 0. But all the other vertices, there exists at least one path is there. If I want to reach from this vertex to this vertex, the path is length is actually 1. So non-negativity is satisfied. Symmetry property, since it is undirected, f of x comma y is equal to f of y comma x. Calculating the distance from v1 to v2 is same as that of calculating the distance from v2 to v1. So this is actually satisfied. And triangle inequality, f of x comma y less than or equal to f of x comma z plus f of z comma y. What is mean by this? So we want to calculate the distance from v1 to v2. So this actually distance is actually 2, which is equal to, which is actually less than or equal to we are introducing another one vertex. This is actually we are saying in another one vertex. Let me say that this is z. Distance from this v1 to this z which is actually 1 plus distance from this z to this z. So let me say that the shortest distance is actually it is 1 which is also 1. So that 2 less than or equal to 2. So this property is also satisfied. Metric is actually a property which can be used in different terminologies. Then another one important property of a uh, graph is or a tree is eccentricity value. With respect to distance, I am defining eccentricity value. Distance can be defined for every two vertices. Now eccentricity is value defined for a single vertex. Eccentricity value of a vertex in a graph is defined as the distance from V to the farthest vertex from G. That is E of V is equal to maximum of d of v comma we have to calculate the distance from this vertex v to all the other vertices and then we have to identify the maximum value that's what we are calling it as a eccentricity value now you consider this graph for this d the distance is the longest distance distance from this d to b is actually 1 distance from d to a is actually 2 so the eccentricity value of d is actually it is 2 and what about this b for this b the distance from e b to d is 1 b to a is 1 b to c is 1 so always this is actually 1 and e of a you consider this from a the longest vertex is actually d so the word is distance is actually 2 e of c is also 2 that's what we are saying as a eccentricity value now you consider this graph so now we are calculating a center value a vertex with minimum eccentricity value is called as a center so you keep remind this distance can be defined for every two vertices eccentricity value is defined for every vertex center value is defined for a graph so now a vertex with the minimum eccentricity value is called as a, a center value now you consider this vertex this vertex, vertex eccentricity value is 1 2 and then 3 this is also 3 for this vertex 1 2 for this vertex it is 1 2 this vertex is 3 now this graph contains two centers you consider this graph the vertex B is actually center of the graph which contains eccentricity value 1. If a graph contains two centers then it is called as a bicenter. Now this is another one theorem every tree has one or two centers. So this is actually a graph you are a tree we can say it is actually a tree. We are identifying the eccentricity value of every vertices. So this is indicating eccentricity value. It is not indicating a vertex number. So what, what about the eccentricity value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the eccentricity value is 6 here. For this vertex 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is also 6. For this vertex 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5. And then, so if we consider this path 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is actually 5. So now, what we are going to do means we have to remove all the pendant vertices from the graph. So we are removing. So this is actually a pendant vertex. This everything is actually a pendant vertex. These two are a pendant vertex. So I am removing everything from this six. Now this is actually the graph. Now you consider the eccentricity value of this vertex is 1, 2, 3, 4. This vertex is 1, 2, 3 and then 4. For this vertex is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now from this graph, I am removing all the pendant vertices. So these three vertices has to be removed. So I am removing these two. After removing, we are getting this graph. So this for this vertex, the eccentricity value is 1, 2. For this one, it is 1. And, and then from this, I am removing this pendant vertex. Then I am getting only a single center. So that we can say that every tree has at least 1 or 2 centers. Thanks for watching my videos. Keep on visiting my channel.